Are you confused about sun protection this year? There's been a lot of changes and the information that you've heard from your dermatologist and skin health authorities is now being changed and or questioned. So what do you do? Hi, I'm board certified dermatologist and skin wellness expert, Dr. Cynthia Bailey. Actually, a number of years ago, I made an infographic that's even more helpful today than it was when I made it because it wasn't mainstream knowledge that sunscreen needed special consideration. I, as a dermatologist, knew it, but now the topic is one that everybody's talking about. So the infographic teaches that you use sunscreen on exposed skin and you want to limit the exposed skin. So I have a kind of easy way to remember how to best sun protect your skin. First, you cover as much of your skin as possible with ideally sun protective clothing, clothing made of a fabric with UPF 50 or higher. And then on what's left and exposed, you ask yourself, A-S-K, if you're protected. And so to do that, a is you apply sunscreen and I've always recommended mineral zinc oxide products. So you apply a mineral zinc oxide sunscreen in a sufficient amount to protect your skin. For your face, it's maybe a quarter of a teaspoon. Face and neck and ears, depending upon how much is showing, maybe half a teaspoon. It all depends on the surface area that's exposed. Hands, Everything that's exposed and sticking out of fabric should be protected with mineral zinc oxide sunscreen. S is for seek the shade or create shade. So be in the shade if there's an awning or a tree to be underneath. Choose that position instead of straight out in the sun. And create shade with a proper sun hat. So a three to five inch brim is sufficient to shade the human face under most circumstances. So create mobile shade with a sun hat or carry a sun umbrella. Not all hats and all umbrellas are good. You need UPF 50 fabric and or an umbrella that has been tested for sun protection. And then K stands for know. Know your sun exposure. So sun exposure varies according to the time of year, according to the time of day and where you are. You need to know that ultraviolet rays bounce. So if you're sitting next to something reflective like a stucco building or a rock face, those rays are gonna bounce and you're gonna get twice the dosage of UV exposure than you that you would otherwise. It will bounce off sand as well. Morning and evening, there's less sun out because the UVB rays aren't out as intensely, but in the middle of the day, those UVB rays are coming down on you, especially in the summer. UVA is out pretty much whenever the sun is out, so you always need to be concerned about UVA exposure. So what is the best sun protection now? Minimize the exposed area of your skin that's taking in ultraviolet exposure. Apply mineral zinc oxide sunscreens because we know that they're safe. And we're waiting to hear on the, the other UV filters, the chemical or organic UV filters. Shade yourself by wearing a hat to create mobile shade or being that smart person that's in the shade and know your sun exposure. So have some idea what you're up against. If you're in a really intense UV exposure circumstance, you're going to need to employ more of those techniques and you're also gonna to need to reapply your sunscreen. So you need to be prepared. In the information in this video below, I'm gonna provide you with links to some of my favorite sun protective products. I've got hats that are proper sun hats. I've got a cool little detector ring that has UV sensing beads and that you can test your UV exposure with. It's not a medical device, but if those beads color up, those UV rays are out and they're finding you. So if you found this helpful, I always appreciate a thumbs up. If you know someone who'd be interested in this information, please share, I love it. And leave your comments and questions if you have any. And if you want more information like this from me, please subscribe to my channel. So thank you very much.